Hello. Welcome back, Des. Hello. What Welcome does? back, Gary, from your holiday. Did you Thank have a good time? Amazing. Brilliant. Too hot, though. Where'd you go? Mexico. Yeah. Yeah, it was well hot. Talking of internationals, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about England. Obviously, their first game was against Ukraine. Um, drew one all. What do you think of that game? Up a zilly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, loose defence, wasn't there? Do you know what I mean? Start shaky start. But fucking, yeah, poor. Piss poor, to be fair. Everyone's saying, oh, they're not that bad. I think, yeah, bang average. Who? For the squad, England. For the squad we got. Hmm. Absolutely fucking. We should we should be dominating Ukraine. We I do. Really help we back, should. We? With the with the way that they're lining up and the pl- I mean, personnel. Yeah, yeah, talking of line up. So the starting eleven was Pickford in goal, Carl Walker, Harry Maguire, that Mark Gwehi, whatever his name is from Palace, Ben Shilwell, Jordan Henderson, Declan Rice, Drew Bellingham, Saka, Kane, and Madison. Now there's two players. Oh no, sorry. Harry Maguire hasn't been playing, has he, for his club? Nope. What's your opinions on that? Because everyone has mixed opinions on Harry Maguire when it comes to England. I don't see how it could be mixed. You should be picked to play for your country if you're playing well for your club. Yeah. Standard. And he's not playing. And you've got young centre backs in that squad that are playing week in, week out. And even if they're not playing amazing football, they're still playing better than someone who's sitting on the bench. Yeah. I do. I don't agree with the people that are actually properly slagging him off, though. Yeah, what he's not him? actually a bad player. He's not a bad player. He's just going for a really rough time at the minute. And I can't stand people that are taking the piss when if he pop, if he is picked in the England squad and he pops up and scores a 90th minute winner in a Euro final to win us the cup, people will be fucking calling him a hero. They would do. But the same people that are slagging him off now. Not gonna it's, a, it's, a, it's a no. What if scenario, isn't it? I don't even think he should be in the England squad because I mean, I don't like, think he should at the moment. No. no. But I mean, it's, it's annoying me all the so stick that he's getting. That's how you're saying he should, yeah. he should score in the cup final. But when you've got people like Dan Burn dropped, Tamori not even playing. Dunk played well last Dunk. night. He yeah, really well. well. And then he, he come off for Maguire. And Maguire scores own goal. <laughs> um, Southgate come out after the game and basically said it's disgusting. Well, he said it's a joke, actually. That's the word he used. It's a joke, the way he's treated. He understands the Scottish fans giving it because they're having a good time. They're taking the piss out of their rivals. But the England fans doing it to their own player, he just can't get his head around, which I can totally see. Mm. But I'm also of the opinion that Southgate's not helping the situation by playing him. No, I agree. No, yeah, that's true. You're putting him in that position, knowing that he's not playing well, the fans don't like him, and then you're playing him. What do you expect? He's scored an own goal. Is that on Southgate? Yeah. He's, He's low on confidence. His confidence is shot. He's not playing for his club. Southgate's put him you know, in that position to play for England when all the fans are going to be watching to okay. make that big error. It's just going to get worse. Did you see the goal? The goal. goal, yeah. 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 Like, that was a typical... He looked rusty. Yeah. He just If he was like proper on form playing every game, I think he would have got there a bit quicker. Put it out would for have, a corner. Yeah, would have made a bit more connection to it. Yeah. So I think Southgate needs to take some responsibility and I think maybe he knows that and that's why he came out on the defensive last night. Mm. Yeah, but he fucking loves it. He's, stick it, he's putting Calvin Phillips and uh, Maguire in the squad who are not... Well, you said not playing club football. Now United are out of defenders. And you've got Johnny Evans, Maguire, fucking happy days. And then you've got people like Ward Prowse missing out as fucking Rio Ferdinand said, retire. It's bullshit, mate. It's mm. actually a fucking drain to it. I do not watch England. And I'm going to fucking piss people off. Yeah, I, w- I was in the pub watching Ukraine England because I was in the pub. As terrible as it sounds. <laughs> And yes, I did briefly watch it, but no, I'm not interested. All the time he's making decisions, as he is, it's bullshit. You play it on the form, and you've got to give people opportunities. He's playing for your country. You're, you're playing because of price tags or fucking names. It's, it's bollocks. You play on form. Who's playing the best that week? Who's been fucking outperforming who? Yeah, how the hell that he's put Maguire on instead of Colwell? Yeah. that's That surprised me. Massive. Even to Tamori. Considering he said to Cole Will in the summer, like if you're playing regularly for your club, then you're going to be playing in that left centre back role. He's played every game for Chelsea so far, hasn't he? Every single game, (laughs) he didn't even get a sniff. He didn't get a sniff. No, but but yet Maguire is, who's not playing regular football. Yeah, it's 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 mind baffling. But of course, this isn't the only questionable decision, is it, that Southgate's made in this international break? We were talking about it briefly earlier on, weren't we? Uh, With what he said about Phil Foden. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gareth, 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 Southgate, Gareth, <laughs> has come down and said, "Should I say Gareth and Southgate yeah. at the same time?" Gareth, 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 Gareth. Gareth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he said that Foden, you know, he can't play in the middle as a number ten, like because he doesn't play there for City. I mean, I'm interested. What, what's your take on that? 
I definitely can play there, and I yeah. think if he, I'd be interested to see what Foden reaction would be if Southgate was to say that to him. Mm. If he was just to say, "Oh yeah, I agree with you, what you're going on about," just because I play there for City doesn't mean I can't play there for England. Um, but then again, I think the number ten role should be Madison's role at the moment, based on form. Yeah. Like, Madison's and I wouldn't put Foden well. over Saka. I mean, that's contra- yeah, that, controversial, yeah, but, but it, you can't drop Saka. Drop Saka. This is the really interesting thing, though, because Foden has played in that ten role for City when they've played with that yeah, formation. He has, yeah. And for him to go and say someone can't play in that position because they don't play there regularly for their club is bonkers. Mm-hmm. Madison doesn't play on the left wing for Spurs. He plays in mm-hmm. the middle. So he could play yeah. across all the time. I don't know how he started Madison out wide and put Rashford on the bench. Yeah. But how the hell does that work? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't get the fact that he's, he, he plays the most defensive football with probably one of the most attacking sides in European football right now. Yeah. And in players. And we play defensive football. We play like six people at the back. Yeah. One, Two one, defensive midfielders. One nil up against Italy. Defensive. Yeah, he went Second back half. to defensive. Yeah. This is, this is part of my, not, I, I'm not against England. I love England, but like, do you know when you're thinking like you've got the talent there, you've got the fucking ability to go on, score goals, and you're going defensive. Nah, like we we spoke about on podcast for goals win games. That's the way I yeah, play football. Don't. You score three, I score four. Don't fucking go defensive. Like, let's score. It's another situation as well. Trippier doesn't play left back for Newcastle, does he? No. But where does Southgate play for England? Left back. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got no other left backs apart from Chilwell? Uh, I don't know. What's, what's Luke Shaw? Luke Shaw's injured. injured oh yeah, of course, Luke yeah. Shaw. Yeah, because I was quite surprised because he yeah, started. Because he won't take thingy, will he? What's his name? The uh, Forest player. Who's the Forest left back? I don't know. What's his name? Uh, Young lad. One. Lost it now. No, it's gone. We haven't got many left backs. <laughs> have we? English left backs, top quality English left backs. Luke yeah. Shaw's our best left back. He's very when good fit. though. When fit? Do you think? Yeah, definitely. Hundred percent. Chilwell's just no I like Chilwell, but I think Luke Shaw's better. If I had to pick one, I'd pick Luke Shaw. For his injury, Luke Shaw, but then he's just never been the same ever since. I think it's very much down to system that you want to play as well. Yeah. I think Luke Shaw's a better conventional left back, whereas I think Chilwell is a better wing back. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, where am I going? When was our next game? Last night, wasn't it? Mm. So Tuesday. Um why can't I find it? Scotland versus England. Now, I looked at the record of our history because it's the oldest ever international match to be played. 150 years, isn't it? Yeah, we've, yeah, 150 years. It's closer than I thought, right? So we've beat them 48 times before last night, 48 times. How many times do you think they've beaten us? Or do you know the answer? No, I don't. I'll have a, let's have a guess if we don't know. So they, we've time. won 48. How many do you think they've 25. Won? I'd say about 34, maybe. No, I was going to say about 37. 41. 41. Yeah, before last night, we'd won 48, they'd won 41. Well, How close is that? You wouldn't think that, would you? No, definitely not. Um, I think we looked good last night, if I'm honest. Completely different to you, Yeah, Wayne. we did. Um, obviously, Bellingham had one of the best games I've ever seen a football player Mate, play. Did you see the ball to Rashford early on when he'd done that? Like, do you know when it like, sort of looped? Yeah. It was, I, know, mm-hmm. so I don't know if it, and it, I was just like... <laughs> it's fucking like Xavi and Iniesta. Like it was one of them passes where you think that's the ability we need. Yeah, that's top level. And with people like we have got, this is what it gives me up a bit about when people are giving them the benefit of doubt. This that we have got, I think, one of the best midfields and attacking going Defen- forward. We're just, I would say strongest in the world. But how how do, yeah. we, how do we know yeah. defensively? So how do we know we're not that defensively without trying new? Centre backs and playing Maguire. This, yeah. this is this one. Yeah, but he yeah. tried it last night and it worked. Lewis Dunk started, played yeah, absolutely played, brilliant. Play really Come well. off for Maguire, Maguire scores his own goal. I mean, why don't you just keep Dunk on? I mean, confidence essentially comes from the back, doesn't it? You've got more freedom to go forward, attack, and score goals if you feel solid. Yeah. You've got a good goalkeeper behind you. Yeah. Maybe the four Maguire's on, you know, it is restricting the attacking players as well. Yeah. But no, because it weren't nothing. What, what, what did the. It was, the, like you said, the big toe. Yeah, the lack of uh, I don't know spatial awareness. No one around him. No one giving him a shout. Could we? Mm. Could we put that to blame? No one told Maguire. But like, 
the no, commentators said lack of communication. That's but exactly. It could no, be no, that no, Ramsdale no. didn't tell, shout that he, it was his book because Ramsdale was going to the deck when he fought. Yeah, but it, if you're going to put him. your foot on it, put your foot yeah, on but, it. Yeah, but, but he's got to go for it. He's yeah, defender. You've got and you get any player that's going to put his foot out and try well, and get it. Look at look at it. He just he's slightly. It's it's it's, it's woeful. As defenders, anyone here we know if you play football is shocking. Yeah, I think. But what's your opinion on Ramsdale starting in goal? Do you think he should be number one? I think he should be, yeah. I don't. I think Pickers for England. I, I, would, pick, said, I would pick Pickford for they, England. At the moment, I'm not talking to Arthur Sport Arsenal. Me and him have had a discussion before. But I love Ramsdale. Great shot stopper. But Pickford, just as good as shot stopping as anyone. Mm. Everyone said that. Like, he's got just, T-Rex just, arms, isn't he? That's just, the just, problem. Just, no, he's in an Everton side. He doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> distribute like uh, Edison in the Allison, but the fundamentals of goalkeeper, mate, the geese is unreal. Yeah, that's and, the, the and, only issue with Ramsdale is his feet, isn't it? Well, They're playing yes. out from the back. Well, that's like, the only mate, problem Euro he's got. Two, Euro final, Italy, how many penalties he saved? Two, three? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's a good goalkeeper. He's a good goalkeeper. But I think that's we're missing the point. That big, that big... The, the, the status of the player, goalkeeper. You're not a you're not a sweeper. You're, you're a goalkeeper. Yeah. You're there to do a job. Mm. But I think it also comes down to what we were speaking about earlier on as well. Like you should be picked for your club, for your country, based on club form. Mm-hmm. I think that should apply for Pickford yeah, as well. Pickford's yeah. been brilliant on form. Yeah. He's yeah. on form. Some of the saves he's been making. Yeah, unreal. But he's not always on form when he gets to the nod over players like Ramsdale. I just think he's in a he's in a shit Everton side. Yeah, but you say that. Just don't he's, just, at, he's an Everton player. So he's a wanker anyway. If he, if he was a <laughs> if he was at a big club, I think there'd be no question who number one would be. It'd be Pickford all day because he's at Everton. People question it. Exactly. But mm. Khan said on performance. What about uh, Ramsdale the other day? Absolutely. Sh- yeah, do you know what I mean? Mm. It wasn't very good. Nah, it's been a bit shaky. Little, little snake hips, and then and then what? I'm not. I'm not disputing the great goalie, but I'm not. I'm, not, I want him to be great, but sometimes you can't just give someone credit where it's not due. I'm not Pickford. fully confident in yeah. Ramsdale. And, and obviously, in, in, an shirt, yeah. in an England shirt, he's, he's spot on. Mm. What do you, yeah. So, the players that have been picked that shouldn't have been picked, are we agreeing with Calvin Phillips uh, and Maguire? Is there anyone else in the squad that shouldn't be in that squad that is? I, I don't think Henderson should be myself. Yeah, with the go. with the level of league he's playing in, you know, I, I do think you know if you just make that decision to to drop down to a league that's you know a lot a lot less than what the Premier League is, and you're not playing that level of football. I think I said this last squad. week. I think a year down the line, mm. he will not be in that England squad. I think he's just made it. But why is he in there now? Leadership, leadership, leadership mate. and there's no oh, depth in that position. We spoke about this. All you've got is Rice. And Calvin Phillips, who doesn't play. Yeah, but They're the only two people that play in that position. Bellingham, okay. Bellingham can also play there as well, though. You don't want him playing. Yeah, but what about Ward Prowse? You can't say Ward Prowse. I know you say, oh, he's not good football. He's only I'd probably this. put Ward Prowse in that over Calvin Phillips. Yeah, exactly. And then what else does he bring to table? He's got the, uh, the, the Beckham message. He's only one behind, like we've said about. One be- one goal behind Beckham in free, free Premier League free kicks. To be fair, he is a player that I'd want to take a free kick from me in the, like, the 89th minute. No, he's, he, he is a player that you'd want that, to do. Or deliver a ball in the box. If he was in that squad, he would be one. Well, Trent, obviously, I think he's injured. Trent or him, but I'd still try to prowse all day. But I think you had to have Henderson in there because, like I said, that CDM role, all we've got is Rice, who deserves to be there, and Calvin Phillips that doesn't. Who else would you have there apart from Ward Prowse then? We only need two players, really, for one position. No, not in that role. Because you play two, to, two at the same time. If he's playing a double pivot, yeah, then yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he plays but... two, doesn't he? He plays two, he plays two defensive midfielders. If you midfielders. play two defensive midfielders, that gives Bellingham the freedom so what, to do so whatever why, why, why is yeah. England are we playing two defensive midfielders? Exactly. To free up Bellingham. Yes, but you can also play freely in, you know... In a four-three-three, let's say with one holding midfielder. Yeah. Thank you. You've got yeah. one box to box. Yeah. You've got that free. I don't know. It's not, quite, I don't it's not quite as defensive as you think it is. You're saying he plays defensive. He doesn't. Oh. I mean, you'll have Rice and say, say Phillips sitting. Carl Walker doesn't sit at the back, does he? Let's be honest. He's up that wing. So will be Trippier on that left-hand side or Luke Shaw. So that only leaves two at the back. Now, hang on. So it's, if you had Rashford out left, Harry Kane already. Yeah, and then Saka. So, yeah, Saka. Then you could have Mads. Rice, Bellingham. Bellingham. Do you know what I mean? You rotate any of them. You don't need that many centre defence mids. We're too negative. This is what I'm saying about. We don't, we don't need to play. Team. We need to score goals. We're not there to defend. You, you don't play often as internationals. Let's go and win games. Like Do you think Bellingham and and uh, Madison will play well together? 
Should we get Mad- well? Madison can play They're well. They're two very I want, I attractive players, isn't I they? I want to see Trent back in there. What, in the whole deal? Oh, yeah. yeah. Imagine Rice and Trent. Rice, Trent, Rice and Trent and then Bellingham in front of them. Yes. Because Trent can play them fucking balls through, mate. He yeah. The pass is everywhere. Where, why are you picked? Is he picked? Injured. Yeah, he was right, picked. Right, he was picked. Clock, he clock got injured. Every, clock does it every injury, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> he always, always someone injured, doesn't yeah, he? He's not, he's not available That's for Wolves playing at the weekend, yeah, so right, yeah. he's okay, injured. No, he's not playing at the weekend. That's so what I'd have. I'd have Rice and, what's his face? Trent. Trent sitting, Bellingham in front. That's lovely. Saka and Rashford with Kane. That's forgetting Grealish. That's forgetting Foden. Yeah. That's, that's you, forgetting you, Madison. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Look, that's, that's our bench. Yeah. So I'll that's know. what we've got to come off the fucking bench, mate. Listen, oh. it's, and could you not, like exactly like I was saying, could you not drop one of them into centre? You've got so many options not to play Sue CDM. <laughs> you look at the defence, you've got Harry Maguire. Like, look, look for ballers. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you go back there. Oh, don't worry, boys, I'll get him a goal. He should have given, these two games, you should have given a chance to that Levi Colwell, mate. 100%. But I, mean, look I mean, he's a great player. Our back line, right, it could be Walker right back, Stones and Colwell centre back, and then Luke Shaw or Chilwell left back. Yeah. That is a great defence. But we shouldn't have to worry yeah. no, we so shouldn't. much. No. <laughs> have you heard about him talking, Southgate saying about talking... Walker out of retirement for twice? Yeah, that's Walker weird. Walker is yeah. a massive player. You How old is he? I think he's about 32. I don't ask, that's, that's a rough guess. Yeah, Walker's wanted to retire, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, still, he, he is, a, he, he is. He's so man. good. Yeah. He's a good he's player. He's a great player. He is the man. But I think, you know, ultimately when he does retire, we're fine in that position yeah. for years. You know, we've got players like Trent, Chris James. Yeah, but you, so, you say Trent in right back, but he can't defend. I wouldn't have Trent right back. No way. He can play there, though. Can he? Yeah. He can play there. He can do a job there. If it if, if, if keeps on going through his body like a ghost, then... Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't um, have him right back. No, but you, you've got some... Ben White? You've got, but then 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 you've got what, what's what? going on there? The reason you've got to have Carl... Where's, where's Vinicius Jr. from? Brazil. 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 Yeah, Brazil. He is the only player that could keep up with that player. Mm. When City yeah. played um, Madrid, so, yeah. yeah, like literally, Vinicius Junior could not beat him, and he's probably the only right back he wouldn't beat in a race. Mm. And players like Mbappe, I think if I'm Mbappe or Vinicius Junior, the only right back I wouldn't want to be up against Mbe- is Cole Walker. Mbappe, it's insane because well, it's Mbappe, 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 Mbapp
it's not about a June. It's all they can do, really, isn't it? Yeah. At this point in time. But when, when did this happen last year? 2022. So why is this... My point, I'm not sticking up for him. Why is it coming out now? Because he cost like 70 million. Yeah, no, 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 exactly, I'm, I'm yeah. sticking up for United, why, no, but I'm sticking up for Andy, yeah. not, not, I don't know if you're wrong or what, yeah. why is she only saying now that this is all, and all these accusations, she would have said it a year ago and have kept yeah. it quiet, yeah, it's basically it's been it? under investigation, yeah. yeah. the well, if, that, if that's the case, then, then he's got to go, or, or, they can't just bring it out, if or no it's got to a point where they're thinking, shit, this is, there's something in this, we need to let people know before they find out themselves, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. probably got to a point where they're like, actually, this is well, getting bad. They've yeah. got to start fitting their players, haven't they? <laughs> it's a rotten club, mate. Rotten club to the core. Do you know what I mean? They, it's not, they're saying, not, they're it's it's not at all, players. no. They're saying about all this United and you're looking at like Ronaldo saying about the club. I don't know I'm going off a bit of tangent here, but they're saying about uh, the club's all no good, hmm. the facilities, the way it's run. But like I said to someone earlier, they're going, oh yeah, Ronaldo's a little bitch uh, going to Piers Morgan. But I said, well, what if, when he was younger, how long did extra did he stay training? Everyone knows, a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, these boys are turning up late, mm-hmm. not doing this, not doing that. Maybe instead of everyone going, oh, yeah, he's a wanker, he shouldn't, have, he shouldn't be there anymore. Maybe they're right. Maybe he is right. Yeah, absolutely. They haven't got his mentality. No, no, no they haven't. And, and, and no, that's I... a top club. And I, 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 don't, yeah. I don't, you know, they're one of the biggest in the world. And you've, if, but surely if you're signing all these big players with big money... You've got to have someone. I know you've got scouts there. You've got to see someone, someone's uh, personal record and what they're like. Because hmm. at uh, the moment, with social media and everything out there, you've got to know a bit about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, they can be a great footballer, but if their mentality is not right. Well, if you're a woman, be you spend so much money on them. If you're, yeah. a, if you're a woman, be you don't deserve to be playing yeah. top level, getting paid big bucks because you're a runner. Well, the thing is, it's not just her though, is it? There's two other women that have come forward now and said mm. that they don't. He's done it that always well. happens, though, doesn't it? One but comes out and then all then, these people. The thing out. is, like with domestic violence and stuff like that, it can take a while for someone to actually come out and say it because they feel. Like, no one's going to listen to him. Like, no one's going to oh, give a shit because they're no one and this person's a celebrity and stuff like that. That's why no one spoke about Jimmy Savile until after he died. Well, no, they did, but the police just... Yeah, people just no, brushed no, it off. Like said, the, like, that was hidden through the BBC. Let's, 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 let's not get on to that We're going to get on to that one. That's, no, that's for a no. different podcast. But, 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 but what, what I'm trying to get at is the point of people not speaking out straight away. That's why... And some other people think, okay, she was brave enough to come forward, so now I'll come forward. Like... But and then, and then that's what brings the flocks of people on. Do you not think that's another to. sign of like? And then you've got the the balance of oh, is it for if they get money, I will get money. Yeah, so I mean, it could be so a no, bandwagon. And I'm not saying it like that, like because if you, these poor girls could have it done, then some of them might have not. Mm. And then this like, gears has been absolutely ruined. It's Look at Mendy, all them charges, none of them, yeah. then, no truth in any of them. Yeah, yeah. it's ruined him. Yeah. He's now in France playing for a crap team, but he was at Man City, probably the best left back, one of the best yeah, left backs yeah. in the world at the yeah. time. Yeah, wasn't he? I mean, hopefully he can oh, get it, back but, to a level um, where. You know, but do you not think this is where the like? Do you know when uh, who is it? Shearer said about uh, who's the young new uh, Brighton striker? Ferguson. Uh, Ferguson. Yeah. He said if he stays away from idiots outside of the club, this is what if you're a professional, professional. That's the key word here. You're a professional. You shouldn't be going out mixing with. People you don't really know, getting them back to your house, blah blah blah. That's 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 teenager stuff. Mm. Like you've got to be people you trust. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Have a beer with your mates. I know. What you're saying, you... like the people that are being accused, when you look at them, you're like, yeah, I can see it, can't you? Where Wait, you couldn't imagine like... Odegaard being accused of rape, could you? And when when these people come Why out, have to be an arsehole. All right, then let's think at Henderson. <laughs> you can't imagine Henderson because you know they're professional. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. don't they don't put themselves in that situation to even be accused of them. Could, sort of could be Henderson because he sucks off Southgate. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, moving on to um, this weekend's fixtures coming up. There's no Friday night football in the Premier League. Um, Early kickoff Saturday's Wolves Liverpool. I'll let you talk us through that, Gary. What do you think? I think a comfortable win. Comfortable three, win. Yeah, three four. We might concede to probably three four one. I reckon, but yeah, I'm quite quite confident we'll be top of the league come Saturday afternoon for a couple of hours anyway. Probably hoping <laughs> for a couple of hours, mate. That'll be it. Hoping Nunes carries on that form. Hope so, mate. I hope so. But he he was unlucky last week. Really unlucky. He hit the post, hit the crossbar, mate. He just wouldn't go in. Who he just wouldn't go in. What's country or? No, for Liverpool last week. Oh, did he not score against Aston Villa? The week before. The week before against Newcastle, yeah. Yeah. But last week, yeah, he started last week. He, yeah, he hit the post. He hit the post, but obviously it come off and then oh, ended up, yeah, ended up yeah, an own yeah, goal. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then he, he chipped the keeper and hit the crossbar. It just, yeah, it, keeper made a couple of saves. It just wouldn't go in for him, mate. But 
Mate, he is some platter. Wolves yeah. have been up and down like Yo-Yo, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? They yeah, they started well against United. They probably should have they got like, I would say robbed, obviously, from the Milan Challenge. Mate, they definitely got robbed. But then the next week, when it, they, got, they got battered. Was, they lost their first three games. Oh, there you go. Uh, and then they yeah. won... Then they won two, and then they lost to Palace. Just they they, beat, they may beat but someone, they, but, it's, but they've had good, like, good yeah. games. It's not like they've been. I remember. I know. Although one of them wins, sorry, was the Carabao Cup. They've only won one Premier League. Cup. They, get, they got dumped by Palace, didn't they? Uh, they get dumped, was it four three? Yeah, they no, finished four three, didn't it? Palace uh, three two. Three two. Who's the team they got battered by? Blackpool. Oh no, they beat Blackpool five nil. They got battered by Brighton four one, and then yeah, Arsenal it. beat them five nil. Yeah. So you was oh, no, that was May 28. So oh. ignore that, ignore that. You was pretty concerned about Wolves going into the season. Have they sort of been performing how you'd expect? A bit better, a bit worse? I think they're in trouble. I think they're in one of them. I don't think they're the worst. They're not in the worst three teams in the league, but they're mm-hmm. just above. I they're think. not in Luton standards, are they? No, definitely But not. They're, they're just above it. I think they'll be and battling. Burnley. Burnley, Burnley are below mm-hmm. Luton. I think they'll be battling that, that, that bottom three. Well, Sean, Sean Dice got a tie. So over Everton. Hmm? Sean Dyke, he, Everton, they're, they're, Everton are shocking. That's what I'm saying. Know. I think they're better than Everton. Mm, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know. Do you not think? Right, that's, <laughs> I don't know. On paper, Everton have got a better side, I reckon. But you know, on paper, it's good, but when, you, when you've been getting anyway. battered like they have. <laughs> Villa Palace. I mean, you'd back Villa, wouldn't you? But they're so yeah, good. I've got that as a draw on my everyone, everyone, everyone says that, but Palace are, Palace are good signing, mate. Mm-hmm. And just because Villa have made all these signings and everyone's saying it, like my brother, oh yeah, they're really good, they're all this. But like, Palace, Palace they're, they're stable. They're, they've got a good yeah. manager, they've yeah. got good players, you've got promising. Like, the, the, when they counter-attack, mate, they are something else. Do you yeah. know what I mean? They, they could be up there, but just because they're not the ability-wise, but they've got the promising attack of like shocking you. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, no, definitely. I want to go to Palace on that one. I've got, I've got a draw on that one. Fulham, Luton. Fulham. Yeah, got to be Fulham. All right, a draw. Paulina, nah. Nah, Paulina running things. I just, I really think Luton right, has zero though. points. I mean, do you think Paulina would go to uh, Bayern in the summer? Didn't they draw the other day? The yeah, that just didn't go through in time, yeah. did it? Did Luton draw the other day? Oh, it's to West Ham, no. They lost to West Ham, didn't they? Yeah, no, they did, yeah. They lost like 3-1, weren't they? Yeah. Let's have a look. 2-1. Luton lost. Oh, they beat Gillingham in the Carabao Cup. That was it. <laughs> lost to Chelsea, lost to Brighton. Where's the West Ham game? Yeah, lost to West Ham 2-1. Mm. Uh, so we're all agreeing on Fulham, or do you think draw? I've got a draw on my bet. I think Fulham all day. Man United at home to Brighton. Brighton. Yeah, Brighton. Brighton all day. Yeah. Yeah? Well, they've been playing. Is it deserving? He's got them playing yeah, proper Who lost to Brighton quite badly? Uh, who, who beat them? Newcastle. West Ham. West Ham beat Brighton. But that, that, that was... Yeah, but you... 3-1. Yeah, but yeah. At we said, Brighton. We said this, Evan Ferguson, I said on a different day without um, Ariola making all them saves, and I said it to you, and then he went and scored a hat-trick the week after our podcast, mm. and I was like... I felt like, I felt like, like a little wizard. You <laughs> Mystic know? Meg. You look yeah. like a wizard. United Mystic, Mystic Meg. Problem, though, really. <laughs> uh, the fact that, you know, Sancho is not going to get a look in under 10 half. Nope. They've now lost Anthony. Anthony. Their, their defence is in I re- trouble. I reckon Sancho will come back in now. Well, they're, they're, going, they're, they're going to be pretty yeah. pretty open on the right-hand side. And then if Brighton have got mid to moment on the left, you know, that's a way they can be exploited. Yeah. yeah, he's a dangerous player. Yeah. Right? He'll be, uh, that's going to be someone who will be getting looked at. Snapped mm. up, yeah. But then Chelsea again, they'll, they'll make another 100 mil, won't they? Chelsea will get in for 100 mil. So yeah. I, I, do think, I do think that Sancho is going to come back into that side now, though. Yeah. Yeah. You see, like, so the tweet he put out about Ten Hag, but obviously what he was saying was all bullshit, basically. That was up for a week, and then the last two days it came down and it got re- removed. He's removed it. But did you not? Then, yeah. So, psychology thing, like, it's one of them, like, they're like, bringing the best out of the player. Ten Hag's doing it. Mourinho's famous for trying that. Yeah, yeah but then mm. all the players now, with modern day, modern day people, it's all, everyone gets offended. That even though uh, Gabriel responded to yeah. Rio Ferdinand saying, like, yeah. actually tweeting him back, like, or personal messages, like, have some criticism, constructive criticism, yeah. we call it. Yeah. I don't know if they've ever heard of it. Have a bit, if you've been playing not very well, just take it on the chin. Be like, do you know what? Do you know what? You, you are a professional. You have been watching me. Let's like, don't take, don't let it get under your skin. Let him like push you on a bit. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't do better. Let it just, mate, oh, no. with, with what's going on at United at the moment, it's not helping Ten Hag. Do you think the writing's on the wall for him already? He's in trouble. I think he's a fraud. And, I, and I'll tell you this: I got sent this uh, <laughs> by Daniel Todd, hmm. and he said, "Talk about this on your podcast." So we will. You're going to like this, Gary. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ten Hag's a fraud, mate. So, there's a picture of Ten Hag here. Sacks Ronaldo, sacks De Gea, strips Maguire of captaincy, buys Anthony, buys Mount, buys Onana, sends Sancho to the mountains, <laughs> loses 6-3 to City, loses 7-0 to Liverpool, loses 5-2 to Sevilla, loses 3-1 to Arsenal twice. He's in trouble. When you put it like that, you, you can't, yeah. That is look bad. Like, it's it's not even that, mate. When you look at the actual stats of him, he's done no better than Solskjaer. No, but didn't he's he actually done no better. Highest percentage of win rate, 42% in his first few games or his first season. He done technically done really well. Yeah, because it worked. The only he's thing, I think his saving grace is that he won the Carabao Cup. That is well, literally... Well, we'll say, well, everyone says that. Like, if we win that, it's nothing. Like, it's for Arsenal. Do you know he done worse yeah. off in the league than Solskjaer did? There you go. As well. So and they sack Solskjaer. I don't think Ole was doing that. Like for the I don't think he was doing well, that you've bad. You've got to build. I trust. Like, like we say, like there's been times like that, like you get frustrated with your manager, but you ha- you can't give a manager like one year to like, with building a team. Yeah, you need time, mate. Oh, he needs it? time. Oh, so I wouldn't say sack him, but I think at the moment he sort of he is but, papering you know, over Chelsea, the cracks Chelsea, a little bit. Chelsea have paid the way of like, in out in out. Do you know what I mean? Let's, <laughs> let's get rid of managers. Yeah, Chelsea are a fruit machine, mate. You keep putting money in, it'll win at some point. But do you think the investments <laughs> that Ten Hag's made, like what Josh just said, Mount, Unana, Anthony, they're going to hurt Mass- United massively in the long run, even if Ten Hag goes, because mm. they're going to be stuck with them. Yeah. Well, I don't rate that, yeah. Unana. Yeah. Yeah. He made I thought race. he was a lot His better than he is. His attitude is absolutely shocking. The Unana, I think, is would a be knob. a really good keeper in certain teams. If you put yes. him in City's team... The way he plays the ball with his feet, yes. it's phenomenal. It worked really well. He comes out like a sweeper, doesn't he? But, but, but like, you know, teams like United that perhaps don't play the same way as City, you know, he's going to struggle. He's going to be he's made a game-winning save against, I think it was against, uh, I can't remember what it was, he went top corner. It was, like, it was a great save. And you're thinking, yeah, he's got, he is a good shot. Yeah, every made, goalkeeper does it every now and then. Yeah, I know, but, yeah, but it's, I know it's a job, Roy Keane. But what I'm saying, <laughs> but like, like the sack one, yeah, straight out. But like, it's, it's fundamental, it's like back to goalkeeping. Yeah, he's, he's doing his job at the end of the day. But like, yeah, he's going to be got a lot of pre-season. That, yeah, it happens. It's like, I do, I'm not convinced by him. It's like what you right. said about Pickford, in my opinion. You know, he's in an Everton team. If he's in a top team, he'd be better. And I think the same would be for Anana as well. But are we forgetting yeah. they've got two? Yeah, yeah. It's mad that we're saying <laughs> that about United, yeah. Yeah. really. It is. Are we forgetting he's got Johnny Evans and Maguire as his centre backs? But he didn't yeah. at the beginning of the season. No. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, Martinez, <laughs> but injured again. Spurs, Sheffield United. Spurs. Playing good. Yeah. Playing but very Sheffield well. United, they well. held their own against City. Like, they're, 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 they did. They, and they nearly not nicked a point, didn't they? They nearly nicked a point. But... Spurs are the best they've looked since Pochettino, I'd say. They look good. Yeah. I think Harry Kane's looking back, thinking, well, what have I said? No, because I, I think good. if, if no. Harry Kane was in that team, they wouldn't be playing as good as they are. Agreed. So but here's the thing I don't know exactly what's going on with Bayern Munich, but apparently not all's well over there. Ooh. And apparently there's a bit, of, a bit of trouble going on with Tuchel and the owners. So yeah, apparently it's not going swimmingly over there with Tuchel at least. Oh okay. So I don't know how that's. Going yeah, but it's hard playing. being a manager for Bayern Munich because their last manager only lost two games all season. They no, sacked him, wasn't it? Yeah. Something silly like that. Like he was doing really well, and they sacked him. Mm. Is it Oliver Kahn that was though? Like, yeah, in charge? Yeah, yeah. Is he not left now though? I don't know. Yeah, Who's this? It's Oliver Kahn. Kahn. You remember Kahn. the old goalkeeper? It's not yeah. Kahn. He's like Bayern Munich CEO. Oh, is he? Not CEO, but no, he's not. So he's not got a club that manage at the moment then. No, 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 no. no. They're, looking at, they're looking at him for Germany job, aren't they? Oh, they German oh, national side, oh, yeah. yeah. Look, look, look at the England one. Hansi Flick might be a bad <laughs> shout if United do yeah. get rid of Ten Hag. Mm. Who? Hansi Flick. Hansi Flick. Mm. No. Something different, isn't it? Yeah. So, Spurs, Spurs are yeah, Spurs I think so. They're looking yeah. good. West Ham versus Man City. Now... I've gone draw on that. Don't they concede loads of goals at home to City, West Ham? Don't they always get smashed? Like, always. Yep. At home, so I'm, I'm back in City for that. But I, I, I think the way West Ham are playing at the moment, I think they might nick a draw. I'd probably go like one 0 City. I think yeah, like they're quite. Like, I think they're going to be hard, hard, hard to score against. They're quite resilient. Think, West Ham, yeah, but defending City, at the moment. I love just like not being like, oh yeah, banker, but City are just. I think City will smash West Ham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They always do at West Ham. Like they're, they're, they've been holding their own against like who, what big clubs have West Ham played recently. I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look back because I just they beat Chelsea. They haven't. They've beat Luton. Yeah, they're big clubs. Oh yeah, they've sorry. beat Luton. They've beat <laughs> Brighton. Sorry, yeah, they beat they beat Brighton as well. Yeah, they beat Luton. They beat Brighton. They beat Chelsea, mate. They, they and they beat that. Spurs. Oh, that was that was injury. Yeah, that's because Ariola. Bit too far back. He keeps going far back. So this season they've beaten 
Chelsea, Brighton, Luton. Yeah, to be true to Bournemouth. Yeah, to be to be honest, that ain't a bad record. Good bad record. Not lost. And not at the it's moment, I, I wouldn't. I'm not being like muggy. Just at the moment, I don't think Chelsea are a top side. I'm not saying that we know they're a top club, but a top side. No, like, a bit at, the, at the moment, you finished 12. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And on paper, like, you four. should be. Well, we yeah, yeah. 12 <laughs> last on paper, year, you should be. This year, we're also 12th. Last time I checked, I think it's still the case. <laughs> <laughs> so we are a mid-table side. It's all right. Guys. Yeah, no, it's all right. He's accepting <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But you don't want to seem like oh, you're like just being pathetic. But like at the moment, they're not one of the top sides. No. You're talking no. Tottenham. They're playing top football. That Postiagno, he's got. I don't know what he's doing to him, but he's, yeah, yeah. He's I doing... remember the days when I remember. I remember Josh saying this to me. You know, I'm quite jealous of the project Chelsea have got. Lampard's back as manager. All these young players coming through. Now look at it. I never <laughs> said you that. did say that. I never <laughs> ever you did. said that. It was in the early Do you know what days. The only thing I've ever said about Chelsea that no, I'm this was of. this was in the early first time Lampard. No, we're talking like never maybe 2019. Said it. Never. You, 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 you had a bit to drink, to be fair, but it was when Arteta was doing <laughs> shit. Arsenal have <laughs> always had youngsters coming through. You're no, no, honestly, you did say that. You also, when I when I said, and I've said it before, and I love this one. When I said about Ellsworth Pro, about twenty blokes in the pub, no shit. I said he's going to be one of our best players. Now they're like Ellsworth Pro. Doesn't need to get in the team. He doesn't. He doesn't actually make the team anymore. Yeah, but why not? What? Because you're playing fucking Havertz. He's a shit player, mate. What? Do you know what? That's you rattled me. You know that. That was the aim. The only thing I've ever said about being jealous of Chelsea, right? I don't like the way you get rid of all your managers all the time. The one thing I do get jealous of, and it annoys me with Arsenal fans, I've been there so many times, and I've said this to you, when Arsenal are playing Chelsea at the Emirates, I've been there where Chelsea starts singing, we've won it all, because you have. And then Arsenal's reply is, you've bought it all. I'm standing there thinking, I don't give a fuck that they've bought it all. I wish we'd buy it all. I, if an Arab come in tomorrow and done what they've done with City... I would not care. No. Are you telling me all them Arsenal fans singing "You bought it all" are going to stop going to games? Exactly. Are they going to stop going to games? No, they're spend. not. Yeah. 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 Well, said Arsenal's net spend. Yeah, I know, but it's not. It all yeah, but we haven't. It's all right, though. You finished second. You had a good season, mate. It's all right. That's what I'm saying. Like that is, I just want to win the Champions League. Obviously, like that is just. I'm worried it won't happen in my life. you're too far off for it. Yeah, oh, mate, far off winning, yeah I don't think we're going to win it this year, but I just want to win it. I just want to see Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're too far off winning the Champions League. I've I mean, look, team we, Chelsea, got robbed, we got robbed for winning it. Oh, well, Chelsea won it the first time. We've never been close to winning it, and we've done it twice. I've seen my team win every cup possible. Mm. Does that make you feel? <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> um, right, yeah. last game of Saturday, yeah. and then I've got a game to play. All right. All right, so last game is Saturday... Newcastle versus Brentford. I think that's a good game. Yeah, it is. I like Brentford and I like Newcastle. I think they're both game. Yeah, both like playing football. They play both play similar football, really. I wonder why Newcastle are playing so many games at home already. Surely the last three games have been at home, haven't they? No, they lost away to Brighton last game before international break. Then they lost at home to you before that. Lost away to City before that. They've been. I thought they were home the last few games. No, they've been away. They were away twice. to Brighton, were they? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought they were home. Yeah, because I was in Brighton at that at, on a stag do, and oh. Newcastle fans were there. Do you think looking at where what, what you know the investment Newcastle's made and their start to the season, the games they've been losing, do you think potentially Eddie House? No. In trouble? No. Do you reckon they'll be given time? No, yeah. they'll give him time. Yeah. Yeah, they haven't spent loads of money. Nah, he what he's, he's done with the club he's, so far. He's bought in average players, really, like just above average players. Oh, well, Isaac's meant to be. But... Yeah, but he's not. No, he's Harland, not. Is he? or yeah, no, yeah, like, but he's it, a good player. Not potential, though. He's above average. Yeah, but the thing is, like, like we were saying before, you've got to give him time. It's yeah, you good. have. It's a question I wanted to ask earlier, but it also fits in now as well. If Southgate was to leave England, who would you want to come in? Would it be someone like Eddie Howe? Or would you maybe look at a foreign manager? Maybe like Tuchel if he comes through. No Germans. Do you know who I'd love? And this is weird. This is really weird. But it was called years ago, Arsene Wenger. Because he is attacking. Oh, yeah. he, he's attack, attack, attack. And look at the attack we've got. I'd love Jürgen Klopp in there. Yeah, we can't have a German. So, but Matty on so with Jürgen Klopp or you Pep, You cannot mate. have a German. Well, obviously Pep. I'd have Pep over when, like, he's not my first choice. You can't have the enemy, as my friends are saying. And at first I was like, you know, I'd love it. But you can't do it. Like, because, right, Germany, England, final. Are they got to be? Yeah, you can't I'm trying to think. I wouldn't mind Wenger, but he's been out of the game for a while. And he's, he's got a nice cushy little gig with UEFA, really. Yeah, he's doing all right. He ain't going to come back at all. You've got... Who's, 
I mean, Pep's apparently, you know, looking to go when his contract's up in 2024. And, you know, he's, he's won pretty much everything. Maybe he would look at international. I don't know. I think he's a manager that likes to be busy. And yeah. as an international, you're not busy. It's seasonal, isn't it? It's like... I mean, you've got um, Eddie Howe, you know, potentially they could prize him away from Newcastle. Too young. Go well. Too young in his career, I think. The, the yeah, ideal think replacement, too... you know, like we were going back maybe like a year, year and a half ago for Southgate, they did look at Graham Potter. I think that ship sailed now for him. I wouldn't use Graham Potter. Hmm. I mean, t- there was rumours of Tuchel, you know, before he went to I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't want Tuchel. Really? I'd love Tuchel as England manager. <laughs> Yeah, no, I wouldn't have two calls in the manager personally. Yeah, I'd love two calls because he's a very good cup manager. And that's essentially what he can need. I don't know, know. forward. Right, this game. It's difficult. You, yeah. you three are going to be playing it. All right. Yeah. I watched it on, you may have even seen it, I watched it on Gary Nineka, Alan Shearer, and Michael Richards. I want Airport. Their one. Did you see him yeah. play it? I uh... have. So you have to name a player from that club. So, say, say us three played it now. Yeah. I'd say Arsenal. Name a player from Arsenal, past or present. Saka. Then you'd have to name... Oh. Straight away, the game would have to finish. Why? Because he's young. No, because he's not played for another he's team. He's not played for another team. Oh, he's oh, playing right. over, over yeah. that. Yeah. And then Jesus you have to bounce Christ. off. Christ. It was so good. Okay. So, what, then you've got to name a player that plays for the other team he's played for. Yeah. And so, then, if I say... So, if, if, if I turn around and said... Um, say start off with Liverpool... I'd say Gerard. Uh, no, can't yeah. say Gerard. Can you can not LA Galaxy. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Then you'd have to name an LA Galaxy player, but then uh, have to name a team that he's played for. London, oh, Don- London Donovan. Donovan. Then you can go Wayne Rooney because they both played for Everton. Can you? Is that how it goes? London Donovan. Yeah, because he played for Everton. Yeah. Yeah, do, do you understand oh, the game? Wayne Rooney, you can go to someone from United right. and then from United. Okay. So we'll all try and do it, but I'm not very good at this sort of thing, but I'll okay. get involved with right. that. So I'll name a team, right. then it will go... Player. Yeah, then him, then him, then him. Or oh, no, we can all jump in, shall we? What should we do? No, we're doing it. No, go one by one. Do it in order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me, yeah. then Khan, then Gary, then you. Yeah. So I'll name a team. He names a player from that team. So then he'll have then he'll have to name another team that, that player has played for. Right. Then you have to name a player from the team he's named. Elimination, yeah? And we keep yeah, bouncing off the team. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just help you shovel as we go. So, if so I we're say already so naming teams. You're naming a player. Yeah. Right, so let's go. So let's go... Chelsea. Balak. Uh, that's Germany. Is it club teams or, or, or international? Should we do club? Do club only. Yeah. Club only. Who else has Balak played for? Well, who did he play for before Chelsea? Oh, bloody hell. Is it Bayern Munich? Is it yeah. Bayern? And then afterwards, he played for oh. Bayern. <laughs> 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 I know another player from Munich, yeah? Yeah. Alaba. Barcelona. Well, what? Did Alaba play for Real Madrid, you know, that's Real Madrid. This is why I said I don't want to do it. Let's do it again. Let's go again. We'll get a hang of it. We'll get a hang so of it. Yeah, 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 that's good. Okay, so go Liverpool. Jermaine Pennant. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. What did you say? Stoke? Uh, Robert Hoof. We'll go now. Chelsea. Frank Lampard. <laughs> Man City. Fernandinho. Oh, I didn't write up. I don't know who he's for. Did he come from Brazil? Actually, I think I can do this. I don't know who he's for. Shakhtar. Google I think it. he went to City from Shakhtar. Let's go for it. Sorry, I'm so sorry. No, no. I, I, think, know, he I, went from City. I think he went from Shakhtar to City. I don't know why I said that. And if you say Shakhtar, <laughs> you can say all the players, players in like City. You know. I think he came from Shakhtar. That's right. Let it flow if it goes. It's amazing that it makes you actually think about players and not just go with the obvious answer. Yeah. So like with City, you just go Haaland. Yeah. Instead of that, like, you, you actually think about it. Oh, Dortmund. Yeah, yeah, of course. Just go Dortmund, yeah. But it's, yeah. You don't, you actually. So, Nandino, you. <laughs> when he said that, I'm like, no! <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Shakhtar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can do this. Yeah, we can do this, yeah. So, I say Shakhtar. I'm crapping this. Name is Shakhtar. We're going to tennis. We're You can't say the same team again, so you can't say Chelsea. You can't say the same thing twice. Okay. We should play doubles. Go on, so we've done Shakhtar Dines. I've said William. Yeah. Shucks and Dennis. No, then I said William. William. Oh, you said William. Uh, Fulham. Mitrovic. 
Who's next? It's got to be you. Yeah, yeah, it's you. Yeah, I have no idea if Mitrovic should play for. Who's he playing for now? Oh, he plays for, I don't know, a Saudi team. Yeah. I don't know what they're called. They're all the same, isn't they? Hello, <laughs> 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 Oh, well, that's I, fact, know, is I, it? I should have gone for something easy again. Okay. Probably. <laughs> yeah, you People. really stitched me up there. I don't even know where it comes from, to go for <laughs> I don't know where rich. it comes from in the country. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Serbian. Al Hilal. Al Hilal. I don't know who that plays for them. It could be anyone. Al Hilal. Al Hilal. He plays for Al Hilal. Oh, okay. Al Hilal. There you go. Hmm. You've got a name in Al Hilal. Ronaldo. <laughs> he doesn't play for them. He does. does he? Yeah. Ronaldo. <laughs> oh, I've got Man United. Jaden Sancho. I'm not sure he does play for Al Hilal, actually, Ronaldo. He does. He does. Is Definitely it? does. Jaden Sancho. All right. Um, we've already had Dortmund, didn't we? Yeah. So I can't say Dortmund. Oh. Um, okay. I oh, know. I oh, know one. <laughs> we, we've, we've, we've already had um, I know where City at. as well. Yeah, we have. Yeah. So. Oh, can we do that? We can't so say the same out. thing twice. So was he at City for youth? Yeah. For yes. Academy? Yeah. That's when the game stops, yeah. That's the game stops, isn't it? Oh, there you go, then. Oh, no, he's at Watford. Oh! Yeah. Oh, is he? Yeah. All right. Right, uh, let's start again, yeah, yeah, but there's no order to it. Anyone can jump in right. and see how far we get. All right. You don't have to go me to him. You can All go right. anywhere. All right. Yeah? So, let's go. You can get three players shouted out at a time. Let's go. Crystal Palace. Mark Gohey. Oh, Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea, I said. Shevchenko. Oh, oh, AC I was about to say AC Manan. <laughs> you just about to say AC Manan. Um, uh, what, what was his name? Fucking... You just said it. <laughs> what? You just said the answer. What? Kaka. Oh, Kaka. Sorry. Oh, I didn't know what he was saying. Huh? Real Madrid. Benzema. El Hatif. Is that where he is? Yeah, oh, no, 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 I think I'm out. Get, get right. the Saudi list back up. I think he's at Al Hatif. No, he's not at Al Hatif. Al Hatif. Look at my teeth. This is hard. You said Benzema. You could have said Leon, couldn't you? That would be much easier. <laughs> I think, you know what, I didn't know him. I just went for him. Let's see how Yeah! That's got a go with that. Loving it. No, I'm joking. I'm out. Go with you three. <laughs> We need to get the Saudi League up, don't we? That's they one of the thing, yeah. Can we just disqualify the Saudi League from the game? Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> that would mean that. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know who Mane plays for. I just know he plays over there. They're all at Al Hal, Al, 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 Al Etifak, aren't they? Yeah, There's like four clubs that have signed most of them. Yeah. Al Etifak. Right, let's have one more go at this and then we'll move on to Sunday all right. fixtures. All right. right, so Tottenham. Peter Crouch. Stoke. Ryan Shawcross. Oh. Who else did he play for? Who else did he? Did he go to? Did he go? No, it wasn't QPR, was it? Where did he go? Oh, you fucker! <laughs> he was no, at a top club. Was he at a top? No, he did play at a top club, didn't he? United. I think he started his career. United. United. Hmm. United. United. Then. United. We can't get off. He's him. now at into Miami. <laughs> Ryan Shaw. We'll carry on. United. That's weird, isn't it? Where's he at? Oh, no, current team, coach. Oh, it's a coach there. So he's so, coaching. So who's at Man United? Let's go Man United, so then I'll go Rooney. Okay. Uh, Everton. I'll tell her. Oh, oh. oh. Gabriel. Is your fucking he's boy? stitching us up every time. Every time. <laughs> Right, let's give this fucking game yeah, up, mate. She's a stitch on. up, Carl. <laughs> Why would you do that? What, what you're saying it? Ryan Shawcross, Gabriel and Jermaine Pennant. Ryan Shawcross was a stitch up. Pennant isn't. So hey, Pen- Pennant played for Arsenal. Didn't Shawcross play for Stoke for like 10 years? I find it yeah. interesting is that Messi is being coached by Ryan Shawcross now. So maybe Messi can No, he isn't. Yeah, Messi's at Inter Miami. Yeah, and Shawcross is an under 18 coach at Stoke. I got it wrong. Oh, right. I did say that. I did say that. <laughs> you did say he's at Inter Miami. Yeah, I thought it was a player, but oh, he's right. actually an under 18 coach at Stoke. Oh, so right. I'm not even. So where did Inter Miami come into it then? He was at Inter Miami, oh, apparently. Was he? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, right, Sunday's fixtures now. Oh, there's one game. I don't know. Two. Bournemouth, Chelsea. There's two games, I think. Um, honestly, I think it's going to be maybe 2 1 Bournemouth. I can see us losing that game. Your way? Didn't you win before the international break? No, we lost. No, you lost. Yeah, we lost. Uh, Lost 1-0 to Forest. Yeah, I mean, 
shocking result. Hopefully, we can bounce back and you know get Amazing some pre-season result. form back in there that we had. But, <laughs> um, honestly, I can see it being a Bournemouth win. We always yeah. have trouble against Bournemouth. We, even when we're playing really well, we go to Bournemouth or they come to us and we'll lose like two or three nil sometimes. Dominic's and Lanky. It happens. So I don't want to play against them really right now. She's got a, that Nicholas Jackson, mate. He looks like he could be a good player. Hmm. He's got he the just, pace, mate. He's got the movement and that. It just, it's not finished, ain't there, is it? It's just not he, there. He's just so rushed, you know? Mm. And He's panicking. Hopefully, with time, that will come, you know? But we'll see. We'll see. Um, Arsenal away to Everton. Arsenal. Arsenal yeah, win. Arsenal win that. We always three. struggle away to Everton, don't we? Two or three, one, I think you'll get this yeah, one. Sean Dyke as well. He loves... He's, he's he got beat some us little, last... Yeah, didn't he? I little would love a draw. I'd love a draw because that means Arsenal drop points. But I, just, I just think points. we've got too many... So I'm quite happy about Sorry to interrupt, guys. Too many players mm. to open them at the moment, and they haven't been scoring a lot. Don't say that. They've scored one. They've Don't scored one goal. Like yeah, exactly. Come no, on. they scored two the other game. The other week, yeah. Oh, they scored two in one game. Let's, let's, let's not beat around. Like, don't be too pessimistic. Like, don't be like, oh, like that, that, we should beat them. Do you know what I mean? Don't be like, what? <laughs> 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 oh, no, don't say that. What am I going to say on the podcast? You asked me the truth. Oh, I'm going to lie. Everton <laughs> 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 four one. <laughs> okay, right. Quick game of start bench sell. Okay, Tevez. Falcao, Cavani. I'm going to start Tevez. I'm going to bench... No, I'm going to sell Falcao and bench Cavani. I'll probably agree. I would... I'd probably swap Tevez and Cavani around. I'd start Cavani. Start Cavani. And but... I would bench Falcao and sell Tevez. Really? Yeah. Um, mate, no. If you're looking at you're each... Tevez prime, mate. No, no way. If you're looking at each of them in their absolute prime. Yeah. I remember watching Falcao when he was at Atletico Madrid. And he scored like a first half hat-trick against a prime Chelsea team, right. you know, in the first half. Okay. Left foot, right foot, header. He was a phenomenal player. One of the best strikers in the world. Cavani's done it for years and years and years. Napoli, PSG... I think I think they've got something like over Tevez in their prime. Playing for Man United and the Tevez is a great player. Don't so get me wrong, well. but you know if you're going to go although to actually, player, yeah, no, Tevez did trade as well, go to Man City, didn't he? Yeah, but there's some relevance. He's one of them shit. We're talking things. about their players, not their law. Yeah, I think goal scoring records. I think Fair Falcao enough. and Cavani would be better than Tevez, just off the top of my head. Yeah, but mm. then I remember Falcao for you know what? He was absolutely. He did, flop, yeah, he flopped then. I mean, exactly. as soon as yeah, so we're talking about a prem. This, I'm not saying. Like oh, that, not, I didn't know. I thought yeah. we were just talking in general. No, I mean, in general, yeah, I know yeah. you do, but I don't. I, I, yeah. I, don't, I never watch Chelsea play against Atletico. Yeah. That's not really being like, yeah, but yeah, that's fine. Then, <laughs> right, Diego Jota, Gabriel Jesus, and Julio Alvarez. That is a hard one. So I would probably. Oh, I'd, I don't know what I'd do. In a, in a bit, I, I would arguably say Nick, none of them have actually hit their prime yet, the top of their game. I rate Jota so much, mate. I think he's such a good player. I think there's still more to come from him. I think he can get better. I think yeah. other players can improve yeah. still. I mean, what are you saying? Just play Alvarez, Ben Jota, and sell. Jesus. Again, I agree with you. Yeah, I'll stick with that. Yeah, I'll put it it's actually the easier option. Yeah, I'll with that. I don't mean to. <laughs> I'll go with that all stars role. One of the other. I love Jesus, but fuck me, the other two are good. I forget his name. Jean Felix. That's it. So Kai Havertz, <laughs> Nunes, Felix. That's... I would start uh, Nunes. I would bench Felix and sell Kai Havertz. For 70 mil. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone disagree? I'd probably do the same. I hate Kai Havertz. Right, it's the first goalkeeper one we've done. So, Manuel Nua, Petr Cech and Victor Valdez. You keep him Petr Cech all day. Start Nua, bench check. Sell Valdez. Sell Valdez. I agree. I'm, yeah. ben- I'm benching Nua and playing Peter Cech. All it's time. Time. It's, it's, all, all it's time. between them two. All in time his prime, Cech is starting. Oh, can I just throw another one in? I don't know. I'm not in his prime as well. Another goalkeeper <laughs> one I just literally thought of. Buffon, Casillas, Edwin van der Sar. Wow. Van der Sar will be sold. So van der Sar sold, I'd bench Buffon and put Casillas. Yeah. Even, yeah. even Buffon, he has some he, even even Buffon said Casillas is better and I, I, I said, I'm sorry, but I yeah. love Buffon so I want to go with Gigi I want to bench yeah. Eka but no it's just because I, I love Edwin I, Von der Sar was an afterthought to be fair I was thinking who else yeah. <laughs> <laughs> classic goalie right next three 
Robin. Ooh. Di Maria. Ooh. <laughs> Mares. We well, selling Di Maria. Benching Mares and putting Robin on. That's a yeah, no-brainer. Robin. Mate, Prime Robin's better than Mares. Yeah, Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. I'm I'm just, I was thinking of selling Mares. Di Maria, man, he's good. Actually, though. no, Prime Di Maria was good. No. Prime Di Maria. Yeah, no, I think Prime good. Robin was good as well. I'm starting Robin all yeah, day. Yeah, you start Robin all day long. I'm selling yeah. Mares. Oh, right, okay, His chair's yeah. falling apart. <laughs> right. Right backs are arguably one of them isn't a right back. Ooh, oh, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but one I didn't know. This is was... easy for me. Carl Walker, yeah. Trent, and oh my god, what's his name? Reese James. Well, we know Trent's getting sold because he's a centre defence mid. So we're playing. In that, well, it's, 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 this is hard as well because, you know, Reese James Walker. hasn't hit his prime yet, I would say. So it's hard he's going to hit his prime, mate. Really. He's too injured. Yeah, he's always injured. Carl Walker massive. starts all day. Yeah, and then you go Carl James. Walker. And then yeah. James. And then, and then Sal Trent. That right back, I put, yeah. I'll probably have to roll with that for the moment. Oh, man. I love Trent. I can't do that to him. I'll have to bench him. <laughs> Remember the goals you've conceded because that man is right back. Still, I still, still love Trent. Right back I still love him. Danny Alves, Cafu, Philip Lahm. Philip Lahm starts. Danny Alves on the bench. Philip Lahm starts. Sal Cafu, yeah. Philip Lahm never got a book in. I would start Danny Alves person. I think he's the best right back of all time, in my opinion. I'm actually really... not going to answer that. I can't actually give you an answer. He's got it. Why is he not leaving? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Hello, people. It's just me here on my own tonight. Yeah. Send <laughs> help. Send <laughs> help. It's like, it's like that Mourinho meme, isn't it? I prefer not to speak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. speak Go on, answer trouble. it. <laughs> Philip Lowe, Cafu, Cafu, Alvarez. You're going to send out uh, Alvarez? Alvarez. <sighs> no, I'd, a beast, I'd, right? I'd start Danny Alves I'd bench Cafu okay you've answered it you're still not leaving after that oh, oh. right <laughs> so hard to answer Luis Suarez Didier Drogba Sergio Aguero so I'd start Drogba fuck fuck off <laughs> shut Drogba's up he's done that for a reaction yeah there's no way he's done that for a reaction you know big game player scores the winning goals you know, I'm, I'm so does Aguero and so Aguero has scored probably the most iconic goal in Premier League history uh, Aguero's <laughs> never won the Champions League what? right yeah. Drogba scored that goal against Munich that so like winning trophies Munich. makes doesn't winning trophies not winning trophies makes you a shit player well when you win when you score the winning goal or, or the goal to keep your team in the final yeah. that's a big are you actually player. starting Drogba yeah Drogba. so Harry Kane's won no trophies but he, so he's a shit player he's not as good as Drogba no what? Not as good as Drogba. Go away. He's doing <laughs> not as good. He's doing Shut as good as up. Not as good as Drogba. You're wrong. Okay, so if you can have an all-time Premier League eleven, right? Yeah. Drogba's nowhere okay. near it. And it's Drogba's not. All right. Let's say you have an all-time eleven. Who? If you're at no, 85th minute, corner comes in. Right. Who are you back in the score? Drogba or Harry Kane Harry to score Kane. that winner? Harry Kane scored. Probably Harry Kane. No, if we had Drogba in this last World Cup, I Harry think Maguire, he would have scored <laughs> goals that would have won us games. Right? Harry I'm Kane sorry. gets goals, but you know, I'd back Aguero to score more goals. I'm going to start. start I want to change. I want to start Luis Suarez. I want to bench Aguero. I want to sell Drogba. Yes. I'll probably go with that. I'll yes. go with that. Absolutely yeah. disgusting. Yeah. The best, best ever striker. <laughs> 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 Like uh, Suarez said, he goes, I won awards on He's fuming as well, look. He won the Ballon d'Or with Messi and Ronaldo in the league by numbers, not by votes. And he said it himself, and I like that. Suarez, he did well, but he was also playing a phenomenal team as well. Who, oh, Suarez? What, what, what a Liverpool team. Have like a look at the team. By, at what, and, and Chelsea with Ballon. He was better at Liverpool than he was Barcelona. Statistically, he done a lot better than Barcelona. Goals in the city. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, he did, yeah. But he was should. fucking unreal at Liverpool. Mate, he was sick at Liverpool. Look he at the team good. that was around him. He was good. Is that, that's what I'm saying. With, he, he, uh, and Jay Spear in midfield. Yeah, MSN. That's yeah. nearly as bad. <laughs> but, but did Suarez win Liverpool the Champions League in that Liverpool team? <coughs> no. no Stop going on about that Champions League. <laughs> he didn't. So, and and Drogba, Drogba did that for a Chelsea team. That's what I'll say. Okay, last one. Hazard. Don't forget in there, Brian. Yeah. Salah. Alexis Sanchez. I'd sell Sanchez straight away. Sell Sanchez, He's start Salah, Hazard. bench Hazard, mate. Sanchez, Sanchez is better than Hazard. He had the best league out of more than he. Sanchez is better than Hazard. Well, I'm going to go oh, in their prime. Salah, Salah's starting. Salah starts all day long. And then Sanchez is better than Hazard. Sanchez is One better million than Hazard. percent. No way. 
Yes, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with yours, hundred percent. And then sell Hazard. Hazard, Hazard started four times from Madrid, and you were talking about prime. He went there in his prime, and he never played. <laughs> yeah, he's just so overrated. He had a very point, good season at Chelsea, not two. Sanchez was beating him in stats, goals, assists, everything. Mate, everything. Sanchez was. Arsenal was an absolute... In a very shit Arsenal team. Very, right. well, do you remember when Hazard destroyed <laughs> Arsenal? Admit, mate, we're not starting any Chelsea players. Do you remember players? when Hazard destroyed Arsenal in that League final? Yeah, I do. Well, well, done, well done to him. Yeah, but okay. over a course of... Uh, that was prime Premier Hazard. League seat, uh, Premier prime League. Hazard in the Europa League, my man. <laughs> career. Sanchez is better than that. <laughs> that was a good answer. I'll give you that one. Right. Hazard literally got <laughs> magic out of air. And, well, and, Sanchez and, didn't. Not as much as Hazard. Hazard carried Chelsea more than Sanchez carried Arsenal. No. Not a chance. Yeah. No. How many Premier Leagues does Sanchez win? One, wouldn't it? Mate, just winning trophies does not make you a no. decent but good player. You're a key player. Some shit players win no. trophies. No, no, no. 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 But without Look at Jorginho, Hazard, mate. Without Hazard, Chelsea wouldn't shit have won player. the leagues with him in the team. Without him in that team, when we were in them seasons, we wouldn't have won the leagues. If you'd have Sanchez, you would have. Instead of Hazard, because Sanchez is better than Hazard. Yeah, debatable. It is debatable. But let's get back on topic anyway. So I'd sell Sanchez and uh, Salah I'd probably start over Hazard based on his (laughs) answer. He's arguing the game. The fact we're even thinking about that. (laughs) Salah, hands down, is the best right wing that the Premier League's ever seen. I mean, yeah. Hands down. Ronaldo? Salah. He's left wing up. Ronaldo on a left wing. He played more left wing. He was. He was more of a left wing. I remember him always being out on that right hand side. He was so Salah's, Salah's first, stats in the Premier League are actually better than Ronaldo's. Because you Salah was like real. You used to have well, I'm saying, in the, the Premier League, Ronaldo on the right. yeah. Salah is, is probably the best right winger in the Premier League. Yeah. I mean, what is his debut season? You got like, was it 40 goals in all competitions or something? something so, like that. He's hit 30 plus so yeah. Yeah. in all competitions. Well, Alexis and... Sanchez, best season, 52 goals. Goal involvements, probably. Yeah. So that was more than any of them. Goal involvements. Yeah, no, but with goals and assists. So Suarez scored 35. Um, look not sorry. Up, I'm telling you, if you look at Salah scored 35 Premier in League. In prime, stats will say in the Premier League, I know we're saying, yeah, it's going to say Sanchez has done more. Yeah, it's on our podcast page. Yeah, then thank you. Then. There you go. Let um, me have a look. I, I can read. <laughs> what, more than Salah? Yeah. Yeah. Probably so, pissing what, in a time. season? Yeah. Yeah. Look at Gav getting all over. Don't know, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has never. No one's ever <laughs> done what he has done. I want to see proof of this. I want to see some pictures some kid from his basement has put on Facebook. That's Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Josh just made up a picture and put it on Facebook. Although they haven't, no, the it, they haven't mentioned Salah in it. Right. Um. So oh. it's really weird. Like they've based Robin's best season. I don't know if this is like it at bias, but Robin's best season, 32. Jeez, Salah had his worst season last year and got 19 goals and 16 assists. So Fucking Rob- his worst season. Listen, Robin's best season, 32 goals and assists. Sterling's best season, 37 goals and assists. Hazard's best season, 38 goals and assists. Mane's best season, 29 goals and assists. Bale's best season, 41 goals and assists. Son's best season, 32 goals and assists. Sanchez is, is 48. So te- 48 goals plus assists. So technically, yeah, you've pro- also got to look at the team Sanchez was playing in as well. A terrible Arsenal team. Exactly. So everything worst. went through him. It was pick out Sanchez. He'll get, he'll get the goal. Yeah, that was Whereas really- Chelsea, uh, Hazard was playing with Costa, he was playing with Fabregas, he was playing with Drogba at times as well. No, not Drogba. Yeah, Drogba so that means as well. He's getting for fed more. Yeah. But, but he's he's getting also, better feet. But, better, um, but the ball goes to other players who'd also you know, bring the goods. Whereas Sanchez, it was just him. That's why he got them all. Nah, I'm sorry. He's yeah. better, he he's better than Hazard. It's, it's better. like Messi. You know, when he was at like Barcelona, that. Messi, phenomenal player at Barcelona. But towards the end, everything went through Messi at Barca. Yeah, it went yeah. well for him. And then when he yeah. went to PSG, it was shared between Mbappe and Neymar. He didn't get as many goals and assists yeah, what, in a weaker what, league. What do you do in football? You play to your strongest points. Yeah, and it's like, it's Sanchez, like, it's that's like why having... he got the number Right, let good. me ask Gary, because he's a neutral. Who's better at Sanchez and Hazard? Oh, Sanchez. I would say Sanchez. Yeah, he's saying that because he can remember some great Hazard goals scored against his team, that's why. No, I, <laughs> I remember when he ripped us apart, not just in the Europa League final, in that Premier League game, when he just took on a whole defence and Koscielny fell over. Like, what was that, yeah, by was the way? He laid on the floor, didn't like, he? Yeah, he, quality, he was a quality player, but he's not better than Sanchez. Yeah. We'll see. Right. Are we finishing off? <laughs> yeah, I'm literally looking for these stats now. Do you want to wait for me to finish or can I finish? <laughs> wait, I want you to wait. <laughs> <laughs> more Salah, more Salah. 
<laughs> in his best season, he scored 44 goals. Yeah, and only three assists. <laughs> yeah, let's, 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 put, let's put quite a common one in there while we're waiting for Gary. Skulls, Lampard, Gerrard. Gerrard starts. No, I like Gerard, Scott, uh, I'd sell Skulls. I know all the... All, United fans are crying. Yeah, right and all the legends <laughs> say he's the best player. No, I, growing up, even though I was an Arsenal fan, every time I hit that ball, I shouted Gerrard's name. I never pretended to be Skulls. Hmm. It was always Gerald or Lampard. Is that because he was ginger? <laughs> <laughs> There's only one ginger in my life, and it's Daniel Todd. Hello, <laughs> um, Todd Mayo. No, I'd probably, as much as I love Gerard, I'd probably start Lampard, bench Gerard, sell Skulls. Yeah, I agree with you. Because I think Lampard you know, scored. Uh, put Lampard, the amount of goals he scored from mate, midfield. Isn't he something, something like the fifth all time top scorer in the league? And he's the only midfielder in the top 10. And Chelsea's top scorer all the time. Yeah. Yeah. He, he got striking numbers mid. from midfield. Are you finding uh, it? Like, uh, it's only really giving me his um, international good. career. It's not giving me his Premier League one. But I did get one that said he scored 40, well, just the, yeah, 44 the goals, didn't give me the assists. That, right. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. Thank you very much again. See you soon.